Hey, what's going on there, folks? Good morning, good afternoon. It is the Earthmaster back here on this uh, Tuesday, I believe, right? Tuesday, May 16th, 2023. It's about 11.03 a.m. here along the West Coast. And uh, had a, almost a near X flare come in just a short time ago. This is peeking out at an M9.6, very close to the X flare category um, from a sunspot region that is not yet visible on the uh, sun here it's basically coming off of the southeastern limb from one of these regional sunspots that we don't have a view of yet uh, but it did peak up pretty nicely um, solarham.net here covered that with an m9.6 kind of see it peeking out on the southeastern limb of the sun that did produce a, uh, a radio blackout r2 moderate radio blackout across the sunlit side of the earth and that was centered over north and south america uh, so yeah, we'll continue to watch this in the days ahead. Uh, I still don't see any type of magnetic structure. Maybe just barely a glimpse of it starting to show up here across the southeastern limb of the, limb of the sun. We'll continue to watch that in the days ahead as uh, it makes its way into position for a better view. Uh, so for now, still looks like at least for the, the uh, Earth side of the sun, 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 15 X flare at one. No major solar storms expected. Uh, this flare did not produce a CME. If it did, uh, it's more than likely directed away away from Earth. All right, let's see what we got here for earthquake activity across the map. Uh, getting some movement back into Northern California again around the Lake Almador area. I was just up there yesterday chatting with a few folks around the beautiful town of Chester. Uh, they did have a uh, pretty bad fire here. Uh, it was, um, I don't know if it was last year or the year before. I think it was two years ago. Uh, maybe three years now. I don't know. We've had fires every year, it seems like, for the past 10, 15 years. Uh, but they felt, uh, the folks I did chat with felt the earthquake uh, that kicked up here about a week or so ago. 5.5 directly underneath the lake. And I uh, went over here to check out the dam no water up there at the dam it's actually a ways back so i don't think that has any effect on um on the dam as far as the earthquake activity goes all right uh, 2.3 looks like uh, also a 2.5 actually we had a couple of these this morning so far 3.2 2.5 and a 2.3 all underneath the Lake Almanor area at a newly discovered fault zone. Uh, so kind of watching that. Uh, one earthquake here, back building prior, <coughs> excuse me, from the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, looks like a little 2.8 just outside again of the uh, Cascadia megathrust area. Pacific Northwest, relatively quiet. Um, down in Southern California here, getting a little bit of movement across the San Jacinto Fault Zone and also off the Imperial Fault with a 1.7. Uh, rest of the country, Oklahoma, still seeing some activity out there in the oil fields. have been getting hit pretty hard. Uh, that's a good indicator of some regional pressure here across the North American plate. <clears throat> also, 4.3 in Alaska, looks like just a short time ago, 242 kilometers deep there into the Aleutian Trench. 5.0 into the Papua, uh, Papua New Guinea area. Stand by for just a second. Alrighty. Hawaii getting in on some activity as well, it looks like, uh, around the Kilauea volcano. This area has been showing quite a bit of movement here recently with a pretty good earthquake swarm. Let's see what we got for a total tally over the last 30 days in this region of the Big Island. There we go. About 400 earthquakes uh, in the Kilauea area. Now, I believe this is all part of a recharging of the system below. A lot of this earthquake activity um, has been somewhat deep as well, about a kilometer, two kilometers, three kilometers below the surface. That would indicate uh, some magma movement potentially recharging the system. Uh, the latest update here from Kilauea Volcano was put out yesterday. Shows that uh, is currently not erupting. 
and no lava has been observed. Uh, so no significant changes. We'll continue to watch that uh, for some development in the future. Uh, down south here into the Fiji and Tonga area, a couple earthquakes, uh, one from yesterday, one from today, the latest, a 4.9 earthquake there on the Tonga Trench. Looks like we've got a little bit of activity there kicking up back into the Japan region. A couple fours, low-grade fours kicking up just south of Tokyo into the Izu Trench. This area has seen a pretty good swarm of earthquake activity here. Uh, with quite a few fives and whatnot here around the um, volcano islands quite a few sea mounts across here it did pause there for a couple days and it looks like it may be kicking back up here today so we'll continue to watch that area for some further movement further west not a whole lot going on a little activity across the turkey region and also um, uh, further down south here around the red sea area that region seen a um, 4.7 yesterday latest earthquake in this area looks like a 4.1 into the uh, Tajikistan Tajikistan area up north into the uh, Iceland area looks like uh, movement has tapered off there from last night we were looking at some fours and fives kicking up there that uh, has since kind of died off South America region the latest quake shows a 3.2 coming into the Peru Chile trench area uh, so slight uptick in this area today. Uh, I think the regions to watch here, well, if you look, they're, they're pretty much noted all over the place here. The Alaska region showing some deeper movement quakes, uh, getting a swarm of activity across the uh, volcano islands there, again, off the coast of Japan. Um, basically, uptick across the global scale today, it seems like. Uh, so we'll watch uh, quite a few areas here for some uh, further movement. California as well is in there. Uh, lighten up fairly nicely. Let's see. It looks like Kilauea is definitely jumping up here. Um, that latest one, look at that. 2.0, 3.4 kilometers deep. All right, uh, let's see. Let me check out New Zealand. I did see a little bit of activity kicking up there. Looks like a three-pointer coming in recently. 3.6, 20 minutes ago. That looks like it's at the uh, Kermadec Trench area. Uh, some other smaller quakes across the North Island and South Island area, but overall doesn't look like too much activity there today. Quick glance at the earthquake drums. Uh, shows relatively quiet conditions. Not a whole lot popping off here uh, for New Zealand currently. Uh, Storm Prediction Center here shows a little bit of a slight risk. Well, actually, they enhanced it uh, across a portion of Tennessee, it looks like, in Virginia. With a 5% chance of a tornado probability in those mentioned states. Looks like the main threat is going to be some large hail or uh, some wind and that 5% uh, chance for tornado probability there across those uh, portions of the eastern states. All right, folks, um, I am going to um, jump off here. I am going to do the, um, the member drawing here at about 3 o'clock of my time. Uh, we didn't get that done yesterday because I decided to take a random trip up to Lake Almanor to check out the earthquake activity and chat with a few folks and investigate the dam. Uh, but like I said, I posted a couple pictures of the dam and the water is way back. Um, I don't know how often they use that dam, but um, even on here, even on this area, uh, there's no water up to the dam whatsoever. Um, and it's wide open, so they'd be able to check for any type of damage uh, pending we get larger earthquake larger earthquakes uh, but again like I say the lake looks pretty full from my perspective I took the uh, the western route over here down to Canyon Dam and um, of course the fire scorched a good area around here so it's it's burnt up but they're getting it all cleared up 
and uh, hopefully get some new trees planted out here. This is not green anymore. It's just a bunch of dead, burnt pine sticks out there. Um, so hopefully they can get that uh, replanted, make it look make it look nice again. But far as this area goes, the water is way back, and uh, I don't think we have any issues to worry about far as the dam goes. But uh, continued earthquake activity definitely ramping up here. So that's what I decided to go do yesterday, just go investigate uh, what was going on out there and didn't feel any earthquakes but uh, got a pretty good visual and, and uh, chatted with a few folks around the area uh, so yeah today at three o'clock west coast time we'll be doing the um, member drawing folks we'll get that done it's supposed to be about 98 degrees today here in my area uh, so it's going to be a pull day catch you guys back here for the update we'll go live of course for all the members and um We'll get that done at about 3 o'clock. Have a good one. We'll catch you guys later.